The overall goal of this experiment is to study the refrigeration performance of a solar adsorption system with a solar collector trough. This method can help answer key questions in the solar adsorption cooling field, such as how to improve the coefficient of performance and the specific cooling of power the system. We first had the idea for this method a few years ago when we considered how to reduce a cold environment but make use of a solar energy. This is the solar adsorption refrigeration system on the campus of Beijing University of Technology. A principal component is an adsorption bed at the focus of a solar trough collector with a solar tracking device. The bed is connected to a condenser and an evaporator. The evaporator is seated on a water tank that will be cooled by the system. A circulating water loop can cool the adsorption bed. The connections among these elements are in this schematic. The adsorption bed is connected to the evaporator and condenser by tubing. A pressure gauge monitors the pressure in the adsorption bed tube. A valve can isolate the adsorption bed. To release water vapor from the adsorption bed, Open this valve and the one at the condenser. Close the condenser valve and open the evaporator valve when it is time for the adsorption bed to take in water vapor. A pump establishes a vacuum in the tubing connecting the bed, evaporator, and condenser. When necessary, the circulating water loop cools the adsorption bed. Details of the adsorption bed are in this schematic. There is an outer glass tube. It is concentric with a solar absorbing tube. Between the two is a vacuum. Inside the solar...